Hi, I'm Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News and welcome to this edition of Out the Box. In today's uh, episode we're going to be looking at the relatively new uh, 40 gate 30E. Um, it's been at the point of the recording this has been out for about six months or so now. Um, some of you might not have uh, seen this yet. Uh, it's uh, sort of probably the bottom of the end, the entry level of the uh, 40 net range. Um, beautiful little unit, um, again port rich, uh, you'll find um, multiple 1 gig ports um, on this firewall um, and on the new operating system uh, firmware version 5.4 um, if you're starting to use things with virtual wire pair because you uh, want to segregate physically servers or pieces of equipment or even networks um, but in password through fashion so you're not doing it by NAT or anything like that these are great little firewalls to do this on because of the port density so let's have a look here's the box your obligatory brown box um, won't show you the you know you get the normal standard welcome manuals and we'll just leave these down here um, probably not overly exciting there for you we've got some screws I'll show you the back of this it's quite interesting that you can wall or um, side mount these um, network cable probably one and a half two meters in length uh, console cable uh, as you know quite a lot of stuff done on a 40 net uh, or 40 gate appliance can be done through the console uh, this is a RS232 physical serial cable to um, RJ45 so you, if you haven't got a computer that's got an RS232 you do need a, a USB um, adapter for that. Power supply, now as I said this is the entry level uh, to the uh, 14 gate range um, so it doesn't actually have an external power pack it actually has a built in, much like you would see um, on a uh, mobile phone or something like that um, and you do get multiple adapters here for your region um, on the front here, this is an Australian um, version then we actually have a look at the firewall in here itself. So I'm just going to move the box out of the way. Let's put that down on the floor. Um, and let's just open this up. So as we said, this is the uh, 40 gate 30E. It's an entry level firewall. It's got a WAN port and four network ports. Um, as you can see. Um, also on the back, uh, as normal, you've got a console port there. Um, for the cable that we mentioned earlier. This is an image of the front uh, for you. You can see you've got USB at the front, um, various options there to make use of that. Um, great cooling on these. Uh, I'm really impressed by the metal casing that you get um, on the uh, 40 nets. Um, very few vendors actually have vented um, cooling here on the top. Um, and obviously draw in from the sides. If you put this in a small comms cabinet or whatever, or even in a large rack, you obviously find if you're doing back to a, um, front cooling or in your rack, um, these type of firewalls are always drawing in the warm air because they're drawing it from the sides, unless you're putting pushing the cold air in obviously underneath the rack and in. So it's great to see extra um, ventilation um, on the top. So let me have a, let you have another little look at um, that clearly that's the the back of the unit um, and this is the front I will just show you one nice feature as I mentioned all of these things that I like again most of the vendors are starting to do this now which is really good power clip in so if we just have a little example and we actually clip this in here once it's actually clipped in it's not going to come out so once you've pushed this to the back of the rack um, you know the or on your shelf wherever you got it you know as you pull it forward the worst thing in your mind is that the network cables might come out but they're all clipped in anyway but that the power would come out so really great um, little feature so there you have it just that's very simple we didn't do any more than that out of the box um, the great uh, little uh, 40 gate 30e just show you the back there as well so you've seen it and that's what you get in the box I'm Paul Sillers of Firewall News and Firewalls for now